Hi everyone, let's get right into the reading and see what the storyline is. So as most of you know, I channel several different energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your reading, only take it if it resonates. Got Privileged Lady, Coffin, Lovers, Community, Official Person. What is this? Bear with me, guys. Okay, this is a very specific message. I'm actually probably going to put another reading up right after this one, maybe like within an hour or even less. I'm going to put another reading up just because this is probably for like two or three people. This is a very small energy group. But what I'm getting here, um, I just had to pause it and look at it for a minute. What I'm getting here is I feel like there's someone that's worried that you're trying to steal from this man. I feel like you're the privileged lady and there's someone here who's jealous or they're concerned. I'm not... It could be jealousy for, for some, but more than anything, I'm getting concern. I feel like this is this man's family. I feel like they're concerned that you're using... Someone's concerned that you're using this man for his money. Because you're the privileged lady. It's like this man wants to help you financially. He wants to give you a job offer. He wants to take care of you. And I almost get... The community card almost feels like a negative thing in this aspect. The way that I'm channeling it, the energy I'm feeling off of it... In this context, uh, it, it feels like a block. It's like you're this man's lover or you're going to be this man's lover. And there's people that want to block this because they're afraid that you're only interested in him because he's an official person, because he has a lot of money. It's like they're afraid that, you know, maybe you're going through poverty. Maybe you're having a hard time. It's like someone's concerned you might be coming into this family and they're afraid, someone's afraid that you're a thief. Let me get some more messages on this. It's like someone's afraid that you're trying to steal from the family, that you're, it's like they don't trust you. And you actually, I feel like you actually do have good intentions. I do feel like you, you either have already met this man or you're about to meet this man and I feel like he's very wealthy and you actually will genuinely love him for who he is. But I think that he could be military even, but I just think he's in this, this high position. He has a high rank in society somehow. He has, um, there's something about his name, his image. He could even have a lot of money from uh, his family as well. He could have a, a large inheritance. Because normally I don't channel it that way. Normally when I see the community card, it feels very warm and positive to me. But in this context, I just had to pause it and look at it. It's something felt off with the community card. It felt like a block. I was channeling it as a block. I always channel the cards differently. I mean, I did a, a reading for a client today and I got like all positive cards. Like I got all these cards about being in love and I was like, no, something's off here. Cause like I could feel the energy. Um, and I, I did some, you know, I'm not going to get into her business, but I, I did some, some digging and it wasn't what it seemed and I could feel that. So I always, I primarily channel. The cards are just a tool that I use to help channel. But sometimes I get different energies from these. And yeah, the community card, I'm feeling like just, I just feel an off energy there. But I don't think they have bad intentions. I think that there's just miscommunication. They think that you have bad intentions. Like they're trying to protect him. But there's nothing to protect him from. This is genuine love between the two of you. Maybe it's like this man comes from money and you don't come from money. Maybe you have a, like a minimum wage job or you're in poverty or you're lower class, uh, something of that sort. And maybe this man has been with gold digger types in the past. And so they're kind of just paranoid that you're just another gold digger. Cause it's like, and it could be like an elderly man too. Cause we have an elderly man on this card and that's like concerned. He's concerned that there's a thief 
trying to infiltrate this family, trying to intervene here and, and uh, you know, block something here. Let me look into this. Tell me more about this. Oh, I have my cards upside down. <laughs> The Star, the Ace of Swords, Judgment. The Magician. This is what you've been praying for. You've been praying to be in a financially secure position, to become the Queen of Pentacles. Someone who's stable, someone who's financially secure. And I feel like this man might be helping you get there. Either he's giving you a job offer or he's giving you money or he's just, maybe he's just wealthy. Let's see, the star, the ace of swords, judgment, the magician, queen of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you wished for this. You, you planted the seeds truth and clarity justice and then we have the judgment card here let me look more into this bear with me guys it's a really interesting energy i'm picking up with this one very specific i don't think they realized how hard you worked on your own either I think of this family or this community, it could be even employees, people that work for this man, whoever they are, it feels like they're really misunderstanding you. It feels like they're making this judgment call on you. It's like you are trying to be the queen of pentacles, but they don't understand what you had to go through to get to that point. You're not trying to just use someone for money. You genuinely want to, you're a hard worker. You're someone who wants to, to earn what they have. Like you manifested this, these opportunities, you know, it's like they, they, they're only seeing you on a surface level. Yeah, they don't know the loneliness, the pain, the heartbreak, you know, you had to be broken down, you rebuilt yourself, you went through so much, you went through this hermit energy to have this new start. Tell me more about this. I almost feel like they might have like a too good to be true mentality because I feel like with this man either, and this isn't for everyone. Like I said, this is for a very small energy group. This is a very specific message. This might be, you know, maybe you're engaged to this man and this is like your fiance's family uh, or it could be someone you're about to meet for some of you. But I just feel like you guys are going to fall in love very quickly, even if you haven't met them yet. And I feel like that might be what raises suspicions with their family. They're going to be like, okay, you were single last month and all of a sudden you're, you know, talking about moving in with this woman. And you're talking about going on a trip and traveling with her and doing all these things. And it's like you guys are genuinely just falling in love with each other. You're genuinely compatible with each other. You know, the fact that this this official person is of high status in society and he has a lot of money it's just the icing on the cake i think you genuinely love this man for who he is as a person though you know those the money is just a benefit but it's it's not your main focus in this relationship but i feel like it's, it's like these people are just suspicious of you tell me more about tell me more about why they're so suspicious of this queen of pentacles hey priestess You might be helping this man spiritually. I feel like he could also have religious family members. Maybe you're into witchcraft or you're spiritual, you're the high priestess, and they can kind of sense that. They can sense that there's some kind of a, there's some kind of difference. It's like a cultural difference or a religious difference. And they feel that you're the high priestess and they, they're not really a fan of that. But you know, you need to just keep being yourself. 
I feel like you were also brought into this man's life to shine a light for him and help him stand up for himself. Now, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that these family members necessarily are out to get him or out to get your, you know, anything like that. But it could be one of those situations where it's like the, how do I explain this? It's like, you know, like those like religious grandparents or like really religious parents where it's like they, they love their kid and they think that they're doing what's best for them, but there's that energy of control behind it. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here where they're used to him being the emperor all the time. They're used to him being a certain way. They're used to him being on a certain career path. They're used to him thinking a certain way, behaving a certain way, speaking a certain way. They're, they're used to him being very traditional. They're not used to him being free-spirited or adventurous or in this, this fool energy or this high priestess energy. They're not used to him, um, you know, traveling or having fun or being outspoken. It's, it's like he, he presents a certain image around his family, and that might not even be who he is. He might just present that image around them uh, but, you know, because it's what they resonate with. So maybe he's more reserved around his family, but I feel like you're rubbing off on him. Like your, your spiritual side, your adventurous side, just your free spiritedness. And they can tell that you're rubbing off on him. They can tell that you're bringing about these changes in his life and they don't really like it. They don't want him to change. They want him to stay just as he is. But I would honestly just keep doing what you're doing because I think this man I, I do think there's love here between the two of you. Um, I think his family is just going to have to deal with it. You know, they're, they're, they're going to have to just deal with it. And I think this was meant to happen. I think that he needed you to, um, to you know, come in and, and bring this energy and bring this high priestess, this high vibrational, free spirited, open energy in. You know, I think you're inspiring him to... I feel like maybe there's secrets, like maybe there's things that he hasn't told his family as well. It could even be, I'm getting like bisexual for someone, like he could even be like um, in the LGBT community or he could be, um, it's like, I, I just, there, there's like some, I just feel like there's like this energy of secrets. It's going to be different for everybody. But I feel like maybe there's like hobbies that he has that are like very untraditional, um, Maybe he's like into some stuff that his family wouldn't approve of. There's just there's just certain things that I feel like he's he's really kept hidden from them. And I feel like you're inspiring him to just be like, you know what, this is who I am. You can take it or leave it. Like he's tired of having to be fake around them. He's tired of having to be reserved around his family. Uh, he wants to just be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's trying to find that balance. Why the Three of Swords and Nine of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they don't like the influence you have on this man. And honestly, he, he doesn't... I, I feel like he loves you. I feel like he, I feel, I don't think he wants to cut his family out and I wouldn't tell, I wouldn't give him an ultimatum unless you really have to, but I, I feel like this man really loves you and I feel like if he has to cut his family out, he eventually will. Like he's going to try to save this relationship with him, them as much as he can. Um, but I, I feel like he's going to speak his truth if he has to. He's going to have victory with you. He's not going to let you go because of these family members. I just, I keep getting, like, religious family members. Like, I feel like they're, you know, like, those kind of, uh, like, just, and I'm not saying religious people are bad. There's a lot of really good religious people out there, but I'm just getting, like, like the closed-minded religious types, you know what I mean? Like, the types that, you know, they go to church on Sunday, but then they hate gay people, and they hate lesbians, and they hate uh, people of other ethnicities, and they they hate people of other religions and they judge people and they play God. And it's, it's like those types, you know what I mean? Like they, they, they might mean well, but it's incredibly toxic. And that's kind of the energy I'm getting. It's like, there's something about you that's very different. It's, it's not, 
it's it's not what they envisioned for their son or their grandson or their their sibling whoever this is it's it's like you're not their maybe you might not be the ethnic type they wanted for their son you might not be the the same religion that they wanted for their son there's something about you that's just not um ideal and I feel like some of them want to push you out, honestly, and they're going to be the ones that end up getting pushed out. He's because you're inspiring him. You know, I would have this man's back. I feel like this man does have your back. So I would have his back as well. I'm sure it's probably stressful if you're dealing with this with this man's family members. But but honestly, I feel like if push comes to shove, he is going to choose you. Um, but it's hard. It, it's hard. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's not easy to I mean, I'm sure it's not easy for this man to to cut his family out. But but what I'm feeling is yes, he will do it if it gets to that point. If they try to make him make a choice, if they if they keep pushing, I think he's just going to get in their face and at some point and say, "Hey, you need to respect my girlfriend or respect my wife or this could even be a gay relationship. This could be um you know, maybe maybe this is a gay relationship and he hasn't come out to his family yet. It could be something like that as well. But whatever the situation is, it's it's like I do feel like he's going to stand up for you. But, um, you know, half his back, his family is already stressing him out so much. And I'm not saying to allow mistreatment or anything like that, but just, you know, there, there's a strong support, uh, a, a loyalty, a mutual loyalty between you two. So I wouldn't give up on this just because of his family. You know what I mean? He'll choose you, I feel, and you guys will, will have, you know, friends that are like family to you. You'll start your own family together without them. Um, he's going to do that if he needs to. So anyway, I hope this helps someone. I really appreciate your comments, uh, liking the video, subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to get back in the algorithm, so it really helps. And I do private readings as well. I don't always mention it, but my e my information is always uh, below in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Thank you guys for watching.